Hi everyone, in today's video, we are going to configure IPsec tunnel between Fortinet and Palo Alto firewall. So, this is the topology diagram I have created in GNS3. This is our Fortinet and this is our Palo Alto firewall. The port 2 IP address on Fortinet is 192.168.16.1/24. On Palo Alto, it is 16.2/24. PC1 is connected with Fortinet and PC2 is connected with Palo Alto. After forming the IP, IPsec tunnel, you should able to ping between PC1 and PC2. For PC1, I am using network 192.168.13.0/24. For PC2, I am using 20.0/24. So first, we will configure the Fortinet and then we will configure the Palo Alto. So let's configure the Fortinet first. This is the GUI interface of the Fortinet and first we will log in. Here you can see I, I already have done port 2 and port 3 configuration and for port 2 IP address I am using 16.1 for port 3 I am using 13.1 30.100/24 So to configure the VPN you should go under VPN click on IPsec tunnel then create new IPsec tunnel Here I am going to use this template to configure the IPsec Click Cisco and give any name I am giving Polo and click on next and then you need to define the remote IP address Remote IP address is 192.168.16.2 and next you need to define the pre-shared key. It should be same on both the firewall. I am going to use admin at the rate 123. Now click on next and next you need to define local interface and remote subnet. So here you can see on Fortinet I am using 30.0 subnet on remote I am using 20.0 subnet. So same you have to define in Fortinet firewall. So local interface I am using port 3 and remote it, it would be 192.168.20.0 slash 24. Then click on next and here you can review all the configuration. Then click on create. After that, you need to go under IPsec tunnel and double click on this. Now we need to convert this to custom tunnel. Then first we will do some modification in phase one proposal. Here you can see encryption. I am using DES. Authentication. I am using MD5. And again encryption DES. Authentication SHA1 and Defi Hellman groups. Here I am using 14, 5. Instead of 14 and 5, I am going to use 2. And the key lifetime will be it will be 8 hours. So 8 hours in second, it will be 28,800. And again, and next we are going to do some changes for phase 2 selector. Then click on phase 2, go under advance and here also we are going to do, we are going to use Devi Hellman group 2 and we will deselect this and this will be, we will keep as a default that is 43,200 and click on OK. So Fortinet configuration is done. Next we need to configure the Palo Alto. In Palo Alto, first we need to create a tunnel. Click on add. Give one. Virtual router I am going to use default. And for this IPsec tunnel, I have created different zone. That is VPN. After creating tunnel, next we need to create a IKE crypto and IPsec crypto profile. So you can create it under network profile, click on IKE crypto, then click on add. Here you can define any name, I'll use Fortinet. 
and Diffie-Hellman group we need to use two. Authentication I am going to use. I think authentication we can verify once again. Authentication I am going to use MD5 and SH1. So SH1 and MD5 and encryption we will use DES and key lifetime it will be 28800 then click on ok next we will we will create ipsec crypto click on ipsec crypto click on add give any name i'll use fortinet and then encryption it, it would be des authentication we will use sh1 and md5 you can verify once again for phase 2 go under advanced so it, it would be encryption des authentication md5 and sha1 authentication sh1 md5 and encryption des encryption des and defi hellman group 2 and the i'll use lifetime it would be 43200 click on ok so after after creating ike and ipsec crypto you need to create ike gateway then click on add here you can give any name i'll use fortinet i'm going to use version ike version 1 Interface we are using Ethernet 1 slash 1 to configure the IPsec tunnel and IP address will be 16.2 peer IP address will be 16.1 and pre shared key we are going to use admin at the rate 123 under advanced uh, I am going to use main mode and the profile I'm going to use Fortinet. Click on OK. Next, you need to configure the IPsec tunnel. So go in IPsec tunnel, click on Add. Give any name, I'll use Fortinet. And the tunnel I'm going to use Tunnel 1. And the IKA gateway I'm going to use Fortinet. IPsec crypto profile I will use Fortinet. And here we need to define uh, remote remote IP and local IP. So I'll use name Fortinet. And the local IP address I'm using here, if you check on this Palo Alto firewall, I'm using 20.0 network. So same we have to give it here. So local will be 192.168.20.0 slash 24. And the remote will be 192.168.30.0 slash 24. Click on OK. Click on OK again. And next, you, you also need to define the routing between 20 network and 30 network. That you can do under virtual router. Click on default. Go under static route. Click on add. And here you can give 40 net. And the destination tunnel you can select tunnel one and the ip address you can define define the remote ip address is 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and we need to forward these packets on our ipsec tunnel interface that is ethernet 1 slash 1 that is 16.2 ip so ip will be 192.168.16.2 then click on OK. OK. Now you need to commit. We'll wait until this commit is successful and then we are going to verify our tunnel. Now commit is successful. Let's verify our tunnel. So still we can see our IPsec tunnel is down. However, phase one is up. So let's initiate the tunnel. 
so we will do it on palo alto login admin admin the command is test vpn ipsec tunnel fortinet let's verify once again see now tunnel is up here also you can verify on fortinet it's up we can see tunnel is up on both the end now we should able to ping from pc1 to pc2 let's verify the reachability so here ip i am using so ip so on this network i am using 30 dot on this pc i am using 30.1 for pc2 show ip here i am using ip address 20.1 let's try to ping from pc1 to pc2 pc2 ip address is 192.168.20.1 now let's try to ping from pc2 also 192.168.30.1 I think I have done some mistake that's why we are unable to ping uh, let's check it again on this Palo Alto firewall I am using 20.0 network when when I verified this static route here I have given 20.0 slash 24 so this is wrong so here I have to use 30.0 and the next hope IP address will be 192.168.16 then again click on ok ok we'll commit once again let's wait until commit is successful now commit is successful we'll verify the reachability once again let's try to ping from pc2 to pc1 now we can see we are able to reach uh, we are able to reach pc1 from pc2 let's check it from pc1 as well so we can ping from PC1 as well. So that's all about this video. And if you have any query, you can leave the comment in the comment box. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.